There is a story about a man called John, a shoemaker. His heart was burning with love for the Lord. He always prayed that the Lord will visit him. One evening, while he was next to his fireplace, in his rocking chair praying, he heard a voice, John, my son, tomorrow I'm coming to visit you. That evening, John was unable to sleep. He was so excited, and his heart was overwhelmed with joy. Early morning, he opened his door and was waiting for Jesus to come. He saw a beggar with bruised feet. He called him in, washed his feet, gave him a new pair of shoes and sent him on his way. And he was waiting. Around noon, he saw a woman who was very hungry. He called her in, he gave her his lunch and he sent her on her way. And he was waiting. Early evening, he saw a child in a miserable situation, homeless, cold and hungry. He called him in gave him food, a pair of socks, and a blanket, and sent him on his way. John went home that evening, and he was wondering why Jesus did not show up. Suddenly he heard a voice saying, Lift up your heart, John, for I have kept my word. Three times today I came at your friendly door. Three times today my shadow was on your floor. I was the beggar with the bruised feet. I was the woman you gave to eat. I was the child on the homeless street. The way to heaven starts today from here through people around us. There is nothing in this life more powerful than love. To love Jesus is to do what he wants us to do. Try to see his face in each person around us and to love them. To love people and care for them is to love and care for God himself. The lack of love toward people is lack of love toward God himself. At the end of my life, when I stand in front of my Creator empty-handed, I will be asked and judged on how much I loved and how much I lack to love. God bless.